Today's sunlight is tomorrow's neutral particles of matter. Good morning, folks. That was Matt Emery of LeadSkullnan.com. If you like Ed Lead Skullnan, you need to see his website. And that goes for fans of Tesla and Schauberger, too. We're starting today with the latest from the European Southern Observatory, zooming in on a double star, a binary system which is expressing phenomenally non-homogeneous tilt to their planetary disks. Now, while the mainstream and the new electric theorists differ about how these disks form and how the planets further form within them, they indeed present interesting focal points for study. The article is well written, but surprisingly writes off our star as having a binary. Another good read is the latest gravity product coming well after this satellite is no more. The data has been put together, updated, and should help us understand a bit more about ocean currents and ice dynamics, at least to a greater degree. Let's do the weather. The Atlantic is still on tropical formation watch. Meanwhile, Hawaii is watching this guy almost come out of nowhere. Luckily, it's slated to miss a direct impact. Looking again at the two storms in the western Pacific, the stronger storm out to sea only looks small because of how tightly wound it is, heading for Japan now, while the other continues northwest just astride of the port of Shanghai. Australia watching that same cloud line, Tasmania have been pounded and that may continue for another day. The North Atlantic lows take over the main watches in Europe. We will still have thunderstorms off the Mediterranean in the south, but that double low up there is pushing a lot of moisture eastward, going to meet already hot air heading to the north. Severe interaction is expected. In the United States, we have two watch zones. That same convergence flooding parts of the central U.S., while that eastern Canadian low will draw its convergence across the land there. Two watch areas clearly visible here, the one actually extending north of the border. First gamma burst in more than 10 days was reticulous. Wonder how many will catch that. Solar wind is about as calm as we're going to see it without having troublingly low speed. And all is calm at Earth geomagnetically. That could be about to change. You will remember the heliocentric planetary geometry that we showed a couple of days ago and pointed to this time for an uptick. Literally, all the planets out to Jupiter in the mix on this one. Well, a C9 flare won't knock your socks off, but it's the largest flare in days and came out of these incoming regions on the south, also triggering a filament destabilization which is more beautiful than it is dangerous. It was actually just one piece of a 48-hour filament fest on the sun. The first of those, which came from just right and north of center, is actually expected to give Earth a little love tap. Both NASA and NOAA's endless spirals indicate that CME impact is possible. A low-level geomagnetic storm is possible as well, but absolutely no danger to the event. The sunspots suggest more could be coming. The departing spots are trying to go delta up north and might give us a goodbye shout as they turn away. Meanwhile, the incoming groups are ramping the sunspot number along with the earthquake index. There is mixing potential at almost every region here, but interestingly, there aren't any I'd comfortably or confidently call Delta, although I do see four great suspects. As if all that wasn't enough, we got a coronal hole stream that we'll be dealing with and which will further ramp the earthquake warning. This is one of the stronger earth-facing openings of the summer. Folks, this is the last day to get a reduced price annual membership to the website, suspiciousobservers.org. The catastrophic price of $20 for the year has gone down to $15. Registration is quite easy. And folks, we also took off all recurring billing. I saw too many people not using their memberships and getting billed, and that made me uncomfortable. So if you were monthly and all of a sudden your account doesn't work, that's why. you got to do another month or just splurge for the year. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.